And again, this is our, our state tree, a western hemlock cone. It is blending in with the ground. Found this one just weeding. Hello, my name is Katie and I work with the outdoor education program here at Warm Beach Camp and Conference Center. Um, I just want to show you a little bit of a closer look um, with the Douglas fir seed cone um, that Mary Pat showed you just a little bit ago. Um, so what we're going to do, you can see um, Mary Pat showed you this one that's all closed up, it's tight and you can't even really wriggle it open too well at this point. But these ones have been um, opened a little bit and I wonder if you can think about why that might be. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up a Douglas fir, and, uh, Douglas fir cone so we can see what's inside. Um, and one fun way to do that, um, I'm distracted for a second because look there's a little tiny feather on this cone. I wonder who it's from. Anyways, one of the ways that you can do it is just by grabbing it and twisting it like you're opening a milk jug. So once it's open, you can actually look inside of the scales that are here and find some really interesting little pieces. So what we have here, I'll hold it up so you can see, is we have our bract, which Mary Pat talked about, that looks like a little mouse tail and mouse legs. And down inside of here, I wonder if you see what looks like an animal print down inside, or perhaps a pair of wings. Um, this is actually called the seed wing, um, and it actually just can kind of look like a pair of wings. Um, it also, to me, looks a little bit like a deer hoof print in the mud. Um, and down in the very, very center, down here, is the seed itself. Now, most seeds that we see um, at the store, maybe in a bag of bird seed, or maybe if you're planting a garden right now, look pretty round and small and smooth. So this maybe looks a little bit different than a lot of seeds that you've seen before in your life. Um, but it is a seed nonetheless, and a seed that Douglas squirrels love to munch on. Can you imagine biting into this with your teeth? I can't. I think that a Douglas squirrel might be pretty excited about it though. <laughs>